Hi everybody, it's your old pal Guano Maestro, and today, year one, spring, day six. Today's the last day the crows are going to eat our crops because we are going to craft our first scarecrow and hopefully make our first furnace. First, we're going to water by plant crops, the usual Abigail future wife gets her first gift. Make sure we touch the cat and mines. Let's get started. Out we go. Meeting with Clint, we get a recipe for the furnace. We make our scarecrow. You know, usual stuff. We got to go love the cat, do our things here. We're trying to do this as efficiently as possible because we know we want to end up near our chest at the end because immediately after this, we are going to go on a super duper run. So here we go. We're just watering that crazy right now. That's what we usually do anyway at the very beginning. Water, 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 water. Hi, cat. We just pet you. Look. Mail has not been answered yet. Why? Because I don't care. I'm going to wait till I get closer to it, and then we'll go. See, I left those three right there because I know that I, I only have three left, and I want them to be right by where I get my water so I can have the fastest trip back up to the mail. Boom, boom, boom. Mail. Go through all that stuff. Grab those cookies. Very valuable. All right. Drop things off. Here we go. Now we're going to go on the super clearing run of the farm. It's going to be awesome. We get so much stuff right here. All right, away we go. Just like we did in day four, you can go check the map there. We made a route. We checked everything. We made a list. We checked it twice. We found out where all of the pine cones, acorns, and maple seeds are. And here we go. We're just running our little route around the property super simple same thing we always do at the beginning here we got to make sure we forage like a beast we have to get up to level four by day 14 for salmon berries so we can get two berries per bush because that is the first source of unlimited energy that we're going to get in the game we're all done we're chucking it all back up there doing really good all right so now what are we doing well guess what we are going to go sell the things we have we're going to grab that acorn of course we're going to sell all the uh, parsnips oh, meet people we're always meeting people and we're going to get a bunch of potato and cauliflower seeds, the usual. Again, stuff starts getting on my brain that I don't like. We're running around. Hey, what's up, dude? And we go. Down, down, down. Yeah, that. I'll look at very few spring onions, but we still got to come get them. They're so valuable right now. We almost went that direction, but we said, nah. Gonna go meet the wizard, get him in motion. Yep, nice to meet you. Adios. We're back on the run, heading up north. Grab that little giggity. Field snack. All right, we got our seeds. We're ready to plant. We've already watered. That's what we usually do. Make sure everything's perfect. Beautiful. Now, take the onions. Take the field snack. They're whip. Nope, just the onions. Here we go. Guess what we're going to go do now? That's right. We're gearing up for the mines. All right. Away we go. Get that horseradish. Give uh, Linus a spring onion because it's the cheapest thing we have, and he loves them. That's like his favorite thing, so that's great. All right, this is the worst. So uh, the overrun with monsters mine levels, you're going to find them. You can't avoid them. Uh, you just got to kill all the monsters. They eat up your time. It sucks. I was surprised. I was like, what's going on? But I forgot. Sometimes there's those. All right, here we are. Back on the regular strategy where we're just looking for copper. Oh, there's a nice topaz. And there we go. We're out. And copper. More copper, more copper. That's what we want. Eat the stuff. Eat the stuff. We're clearing out space in our inventory for more copper, more of everything. Yep. Starting to get tired. Eat more food. Guess what? Keep chopping. Choppa, choppa, choppa. Choppa, choppa, choppa. We're going for level 10 in the mines right now. That's, that's it right there. That's the opening for a nine, I think, right there. We're looking at our thing. What's important to us? Do we want this? Always checking the barrels. All right. there. Here is level 10 right here. Yeah, I got boots. I, I totally chucked that, and I didn't have to. All right, here's level 11, which is great. Right now, we're just on playing up with the house's money. So we've made it to 10. This is 12. Stoked about this one. Whenever you see levels like this with these uh, train tracks that go horizontally, you know there's going to be a bunch of coal at the very end. So I was all excited to get that thing. Huge thing. Now we get out. We're running back to the house because we got some stuff to do, like building a furnace. Yeah. 
and uh, yeah, make smelting some copper bars. We want to get five copper bars as quickly as possible in two thousand dollars, so that we can smelt our uh, uh, smelt, so we can turn our uh, watering can into a copper watering can, because that will triple the ability of us to water our crops so it's an absolute must and you never know when the second day of rain is coming i've had it come as late as day 20 but usually uh it's like 14 or 15 so you want to knock this out as soon as possible with my extra time i just kind of cleared up what was down there no big deal then we're smelting a few more bars we go in and guess what we're done